To find real love, a yoga teacher chases a married man's notice, an ad expert gambles with social media, and a dreamy girl seeks a barman's advice, unsure if he likes her too. For a long time, Gigi and others think men are mean to women they fancy, missing the chance they just don't like them. One evening, Gigi is with Connor, a friend's property agent. She likes his company, but soon after their date, he quickly calls Anna for a date. Anna fakes being busy, though she's only shopping. She says she'll call back after shopping. Surprisingly, the cashier tells her she's the thousandth shopper and wins a prize. Happy? She hugs the man behind her, Ben. When Connor gets home, he asks his pal Alex if Anna returned his call. Alex says no, and Connor thinks of calling her, but Alex advises against it. Meanwhile, Anna chats with Ben outside the shop, sharing her dream to sing. Ben suggests connecting her with an agent. This thrills her, but then Ben says he's married. That night, Ben's mate Neil gets home to his girlfriend Beth, who says their sister is marrying. Neil's okay with it, which confuses Beth as he dislikes marriage. Neil thinks showing off a relationship with marriage means you're unsure. They don't need papers to prove friendship, so love should be the same. He doesn't know this upsets Beth. The next day, Gigi's anxious that Connor hasn't called. Janine tells her to wait, as her husband Ben didn't call straight away, but they still married. Still, Gigi keeps checking her phone and thinks of visiting Connor's favorite club. She watches her phone for days, even talking with Janine about her date, wondering if she missed any hints. Hearing this, their workmate Beth says she called her man after their date, so women can call first. Then, Gigi calls Connor, but gets his voicemail. She follows Janine's approved script, saying it's fine for women to call men. But the next part of her script is blurry, so she ends up sharing weird facts about men and women's equality before hanging up. Janine assures her Connor will ring back, but sounds sarcastic. That night, he still hasn't called, so Gigi takes action. She goes to Connor's liked club and sits where Alex, the owner and bartender, works. She says she's waiting for someone, and when Alex realizes it's for Connor, he tells her he's not coming tonight. To not look bad, Gigi claims she's returning his pen, but Alex sees a dentist's name on the pen and says, it's not Connor's dentist. Caught, Gigi admits, she wanted to see Connor after their date. She goes to leave, but Alex offers her a drink to talk. Hours later, Alex straight up says Connor won't call as he's not interested. Gigi isn't bothered, mentioning a friend who was first rejected but later got into a relationship. Alex calls this rare, making Gigi argue she might be an exception. He insists, if a man is mean, He's not interested. This breaks Gigi's belief, and she thanks Alex for the new thought. The next morning, Gigi rushes to Beth and Janine, telling how she always chased men who showed little interest. She talks about women who persisted and married, but realizes they're rare cases, and women like her are more common. This makes Beth think about her own unmarried relationship. Elsewhere, Anna tells her friend Mary about meeting Ben. Even knowing he's married, she's attracted to him. Mary recalls her dad's friend finding love after a divorce. She suggests Anna could be someone's surprise love. Feeling hopeful, Anna invites Ben for coffee, but he says no. Heartbroken, Anna visits Connor, happy to see her. He comforts her about her looks. Feeling better, she hugs him and leaves, though he clearly wants her to stay. She kisses him before going, keeping control over him. That night, Beth gets home, still upset about being common. She suddenly asks Neil to stop being nice unless he wants to marry her. She explains she avoided marriage to not seem pushy. Now, she wants to know if they'll ever wed. Neil is speechless, ending their relationship. Another day, Ben's in their half-done house. He leaves Anna a message, reconsidering her offer to talk career. Just then, his wife comes. She jokes he's there to smoke, but he says he's picturing the room's future. She suggests making it a baby room, surprising him. Ben hesitates, then admits they're nearly ready to talk about kids. In a busy bar, 
Gigi meets Jared and they swap numbers. Before he goes, she tries to clear up who'll call, as he's vague. Gigi rips his card after he leaves, stopping her from obsessing over him. The next morning, Mary tells her colleagues a man invited her out on MySpace. The man frowns, saying, MySpace is now for quick flings. Mary argues that old-fashioned dating's rare now due to social media, so they need to adjust. Then, Connor calls about the ad she made for him. The ad. That afternoon, Beth's at her sister P.A.'s wedding practice. They joke P.A.'s hurrying the wedding due to pregnancy. She denies it, saying love leads to marriage. Seeing Beth's sad look, she reassures her. Later, in Ben's office, he can't find the music agency list for Anna. He promises he didn't trick her. She questions why such a good man is wed. Ben says Janine made him choose marriage or breakup. He vents about men's pressure to wed long-term girlfriends but criticized if they're not ready. Annoyed, he admits liking Anna but can only help her dreams. Meanwhile, Janine finds her furniture dusty from work. She goes for covers but finds cigarettes downstairs, learning Ben lied. Elsewhere, Gigi fixes the torn card before calling Alex at his bar. She tells him about Jared, but Alex bluntly says Jared's not into her. He says if a man's keen, he'll try. Disappointed but thankful for Alex's honesty, Gigi rips the card again. After, Alex visits Connor, shocked at his odd clothes. Connor thinks it'll help business, but Alex suspects it's due to Anna not being with him. Connor snaps that she once did. The next day, Ben goes to Anna's yoga class. By the pool, he argues married men can have pretty female friends, and Anna agrees. Ben playfully declares love, and they shake hands as mates. But then Anna strips and swims, inviting Ben. He refuses, not trusting himself, so she suggests he just watch. When Ben gets back, Janine shows the cigarettes she found. He blames the builders and plays victim, making her say, sorry. Elsewhere, Gigi's with a man who, when asked about a second date, says he'll be away. She excuses herself and calls Alex, who's also on a date. She talks about her date's remark and Alex tells her to leave. Annoyed, she asks if she should always do this with uninterested men, and he agrees. Feeling sorry, Alex proposes a guy named Bill for her. The next day, Neil tells Ben he's unsure about marriage, but wants Beth. He asks why Ben wed, and Ben answers, he loves Janine, sounding doubtful. That evening, Beth's at PA's dinner rehearsal. Their cousin awkwardly notes Beth's still single, upsetting her. She leaves, but her dad follows, comforting her about being unique. They return to dinner, smiling. At a pub, Gigi waits for Bill, Alex's suggestion. But Alex shows up, apologizing as Bill mixed up dates. Gigi's disappointed, but Alex notes other women get stood up too. He reveals men use the no-spark excuse to reject women they dislike, as women accept drama. He tells her to move on, like him. She asks why he's telling her this, and he says he likes her, but just as friends. The next morning, Janina grills the main builder about smoking, but he denies it. Later, Connor hosts a queer men's house sale, with Anna supporting but leaving early. He tries to kiss her, but she hugs him instead. Two men note the tension, telling him she's resisting. He admits he's struggling and doesn't know what to do. They suggest he act, but they don't know Anna's with Ben that night. The next day, Anna excitedly tells Mary that Ben might leave his wife for her. Mary thinks it's crazy, but backs her. Mary then complains about being ignored by men online, but perks up hearing about Anna's MySpace man. Meanwhile, Alex asks Gigi to a party, saying there'll be lots of men. This call makes Gigi wonder if Alex likes her. She tells Janine, noting Alex's efforts despite his date, the fake bill, and the party invite. Janine's thrilled for her. In Mary's office, she shows her mates her date's MySpace page. She likes him, but he hasn't called back. Her friends urge her to check her messages, and to her amazement, they hear a man's voice, male serenading her and inviting her to call back. Their celebration is short-lived when the next message plays, 
revealing the same song but with a different woman's name, indicating the guy called the wrong number. In Home Depot, Ben and Janine are choosing wooden tiles. Ben suggests the less expensive imitation, but Janine insists on real wood, emphasizing her preference for genuineness and truth. It's at this moment that Ben confesses he had an affair. Janine, shocked, tries to remain composed in the store. Ben mentions he'll be staying on Neil's boat, but she questions why he's avoiding discussing their problems. She suspects he's trying to leave her, but after a moment of thought, he denies it, and they continue shopping together. At Paige's wedding, Beth walks down the aisle as a bridesmaid, accompanied by her dog instead of a man, receiving applause from the guests. However, the wedding festivities are disrupted when Beth's father suddenly suffers a heart attack. He suffers a At Alex's weekend gathering, his friends speculate whether he invited Gigi merely as a friend or with romantic intentions. Gigi, observing Alex with another woman, starts questioning her own presence at the party. Later, Alex approaches Gigi, inquiring if she's been approached by any men yet. She admits to not having any luck and remains skeptical about Bill's existence. Alex then asks her to assist with the party, and she agrees, enthusiastically helping the guests while Alex enjoys himself. However, her suspicions arise when another woman takes over the task she was doing, mentioning that Alex instructed her to do so. After the party, Alex and the woman enjoy video games while Gigi cleans up. The woman leaves post-game, and Alex thanks Gigi for her assistance. He mentions he's going to bed, leading Gigi to mistakenly think it's an invitation. She impulsively kisses him, but he pulls back, confused about why she thinks they're a couple. Gigi lists her reasons, but starts doubting herself. Frustrated, Alex vents about women drawing complex conclusions from simple gestures, Gigi counters, arguing she prefers overanalyzing as it shows she cares, unlike him who seemingly treats women as disposable. She storms out, asserting she's closer to finding love than he is. The following morning, Beth is taking care of her father and cleaning up, while her brother-in-laws lounge around. She finds her sister crying over their dad's condition. Meanwhile, Gigi learns about Ben's infidelity and asks Janine if she plans to leave him. Janine explains that Ben is her husband, not just a date she can easily discard. Gigi apologizes, realizing her words were too harsh. Following Ben and Janine's intimate encounter at the office, Janine declares her love for her husband before leaving. Anna, upset by the situation, hastily exits as well. Later that evening, Gigi receives an unexpected call from Bill, who asks her out. Surprised that he's real, she accepts. Concurrently, Anna, feeling down, invites Connor over for comfort. He catches on to her mixed signals and asserts his desire for a real relationship. Anna is pleased by his assertiveness and agrees, leading to a closer moment between them. However, she soon regrets it as Connor becomes overly affectionate. The next morning, Beth is overwhelmed with household chores, while her sister's husbands neglect their responsibilities. To her relief, Neil is in the kitchen, having completed some chores and grocery shopping. Overcome with gratitude, Beth breaks down and embraces him. In the afternoon, Janine returns home to her now-finished house and begins to decorate. She attempts to call Ben, but he, being at the gym, where Anna works, ignores her call. Disheartened, she starts laundry, only to find a box of cigarettes fall from his pants. This discovery triggers her, leading her to throw out his belongings in frustration. At Alex's pub, he attempts to call Gigi, but ends up leaving an awkward message on her voicemail. Later, Beth surprises Neil by visiting him on his boat. However, she declines, realizing she doesn't want this future with him. Heartbroken, Connor asks if they could return to their previous relationship, but she gently declines, saying goodbye with a hug. Upon returning home, Ben finds all his clothes neatly folded on the stairs, along with a large box of cigarettes and a letter from Janine, asking for a divorce. That evening, after a successful date with Bill, Alex unexpectedly visits Gigi. He confesses his realization of being obsessed with her, 
similar to how she fixated on other men. He admits his past behavior of keeping women at a distance and not understanding the feelings of falling for someone. Gigi mentions needing someone like Bill who doesn't cause drama, reminding Alex of his earlier words. The next morning, Mary encounters Connor at a cafe, leading to their first in-person meeting. Meanwhile, Neil moves back into Beth's apartment. She tries to discard his baggy pants, but he insists she check the pockets first. To her surprise, she finds a ring, leading Neil to propose, and she joyfully accepts. Sometime later, Beth and Neil celebrate their wedding on his boat. Mary deletes her MySpace account, having found love with Connor. Anna focuses on her music career, choosing to prioritize it over romantic pursuits. In the grocery store, Ben stands alone, while Janine sets up her new, independent home. Finally, Gigi and Alex throw a party, where Gigi reflects on her journey. She realizes that her pursuit of love was never about the drama, but about never losing hope and continuously moving forward.